Hello, it's Mr. Lee. It's good to be with you today. And I've got a question for you. What do you have to do to get ready in the morning? Well, I suppose you have to get out of bed and quickly go and have a wash, um, get dressed, um, go downstairs, have breakfast, um, get up again, brush your teeth, uh, maybe have a bit of a bend and stretch. I like to have uh, to have a workout in the morning with Joe Wicks. That's great fun. And all the things to get ready for school work. You've got to get your pens out, got to get the computer ready. Oh, there's a lot of things. If you put them all together, what a lot of things it is to get ready in the morning. Well, today I'm thinking about what it is to be prepared for things, to get ready. It's a season of Lent and Lent is about being prepared. Oh, I'm or even being prepared. So let's have a look at some of the things about getting ready, being prepared for things. I love flowers growing in the garden. And this is a time when I could be prepared to grow some flowers. I happen to have got some seeds here, uh, some white ones and some red ones, and I'm going to plant them in this seed tray. And I've got here some earth, it's called potting compost if you're asking dad to get some and this is a rather clever thing it's a little pack of miniature flower pots quite cheap and I'm going to plant out my seeds well I put the miniature flower pots inside the tray and what I'm doing is I'm just filling the whole thing up with cot with uh, with the compost here until it's nice and smooth. This is the bit I like, because this is the bit where we uh, put the, um, the seeds on the, on the compost. I'm just putting them on the top. And you might think, well, there's actually too much earth, but it will actually get, it'll actually go down when it's wet. So I'm gonna do the, I've done the red ones, I'm gonna do the white seeds now. There we are, plenty, two or three in each one, just in case some of them don't work. And then just sprinkle a load of, uh, a bit of compost on the top. Just a tiny little sprinkling, just enough to hide the seeds. Give them a little pat down. A little bit more earth in this one. Just get them all nice and level. And I'm going to finish it off with a couple of little markers and you can make your own actually, probably better that way. Uh, here's some markers for the plants, the white ones and the red ones. And I actually planted some other kind of plants which are sort of a uh, pink, which are going to go in these ones at the end. To water them in now, just put a little bit of water on each. I'm not going to have them terribly, terribly damp. Just damp enough so that the seeds uh, will just start growing. Enough to just moisten all of this compost. There, that's really nice. I'm going to finish it off with making a little greenhouse for this. And to do that, I've got some polythene here, a sheet of polythene. And I'm going to cover it up and seal it in. Just an ordinary sheet of polythene cut to size, nothing special. And I'm going to Tuck it down like that. And I've made a little greenhouse. And the idea is that the plants, the seeds will grow into plants and they will keep nice and moist. That's okay. Nice and damp, just slightly damp inside there. They're in front of the windowsill and they will grow. And that is about being prepared for growing flowers. This is the time of year we call Lent. Lent is a word that means lengthening of days as we go into spring, but it's also a very special time for the church because we remember Jesus being prepared for his great work. He was going to tell people all about how God loved them he was going to do amazing miracles. But first, before he started this, 
he would have to go out and prepare himself. So he went all on his own out into the desert. And he didn't eat anything or drink anything for 40 days. And he prayed. He felt lots of ideas, temptations to do bad things, but he didn't do anything bad. And at the end, he had conquered the temptations. He was ready to do his great work and tell people all about God. Christians want to remember Jesus at this time, in this time before Easter. We want to be prepared for the celebration of Easter. So to be prepared and remember Jesus, we might give up something like chocolate. Grown-ups might give up smoking or drinking alcohol. And people will often try and spend time praying and also doing something kind for someone, perhaps uh, spending time um, on, on uh, Zoom calls, talking to granddad and nana, or maybe they're remembering how they can be kind to their parents, tidying their room, uh, trying to do their homework. So it's a special time for each one of us as we prepare for Easter. I wonder how we can do something positive during this Lent time, between now and Easter. Perhaps we could, each one of us, uh, help someone special. Or maybe we could do a school project to help children in another country who are not well off. Perhaps just every day we could just try and be kind to one person. I'm going to leave you to think about that. And I'm going to say a little prayer now as we end. Just remembering that God is with us, we close our eyes and just imagine that we are talking to God, our Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus going out into the desert to prepare himself to tell everyone about how much you love us. Help us to be mindful of others, to try and do positive things this Lent. Perhaps just to spend a little bit of time every day remembering that you are with us and you care for us. And may we spend Lent well and prepare well for Easter. Amen. Well, it's been lovely being with you and... I hope you have a good Lent, a good time preparing for Easter. So let's be prepared when Easter comes. Bye.